<laughs> Emotional scenes at the Garandi family home. Their son, 17-year-old Sina, is one of five people killed during anti-government protests in Chad on Tuesday. His family says he was only a spectator watching a confrontation between demonstrators and security forces in the capital in Jemena. Shots rang out, a bullet broke his arm and then it went through his stomach. As he fell, gas canisters were also fired into the crowds. He was rushed to hospital and that's where he died. They killed my brother and they may as well have just killed me too. Dozens were arrested during the protests, many of whom say they were just bystanders. I was waiting for a motorbike. Suddenly two soldiers appeared and arrested me. They searched me and took my phone and a bottle of water. They said the bottle of water was the sign I was a protester. They beat me up and dumped me, and then I was beaten up again. After questioning, I was handed to another group where I had even more severe beatings. The crackdown on demonstrators has prompted international condemnation and calls for investigations. Although the protest organizers say they will keep up the demonstrations, Tuesday's crackdown by the military has forced protesters off the streets. The city appears to be calm for now, with most shops and markets open. But the excessive use of force has drawn criticism from Chad's allies, including France. Chad is now facing an uncertain future. Its long-term president, Idris Derby, was killed last week during fighting with rebels in the north, according to the military. The same rebels who had threatened to march on the capital. Immediately after his death, his son, General Mohammed Debi, was announced as his successor. The constitution was suspended and a military council was set up, a move strongly rejected by the opposition here. But the violence that followed the elections in early April and the protests that came after the military takeover have further divided the country. Chad's new military leader has promised to start a national dialogue to unite Chadians. But it's not clear if his promise is enough to end the latest cycle of violence in a country with a history of rebellion, tribal conflicts, and military interventions. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Jemena.